guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm moving into college during a pandemic. I really went back and forth with this decision. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go, but there really was no plan B. So I'm gonna go give it a try, figure it out. If it's a failure, if we get sent home, I think I'm gonna take next semester off. But I wanted to show you the behind the scenes of packing. I hate packing, so I'll probably keep this segment minimal. I'll show you the moving in and uh, getting set up and meeting my roommates and stuff. So I'm excited for college vlogs. Let's do it. I wanna talk to you guys really quick about Arctic Zero. They're these really cool ice creams. And this whole thing is 160 calories. You could eat this like top to bottom, 160 calories. So that's really cool because I really love ice cream in the summer. I love that like vibe of like just something cold at the end of the night, but they're not too sugary. Um, they're not really too unhealthy. They're not, um, you know, too calorie dense and like, it's not like a thick dessert. It's kind of more like a refreshing ice cream. They're non-dairy. And so you guys should check out Arctic Zero. I'm gonna link them in the description. So I already ate the chocolate flavor, but we also have classic vanilla, chocolate peanut butter, and salted caramel. So I'm excited to try these two, but chocolate is my favorite. Okay, my camera's on 1%, so I do need to charge it. But Leilani won the giveaway. Oh wait, that's not the giveaway. This is the giveaway um, that I did. It was the Cape Cod giveaway, so she got this book, um, a little long sleeve, she got Cape Cod sandbar, um, candle, this uh, air freshener, and then three nail polishes, and then I put a little note in there too, so I'm gonna send that to her, and hopefully she likes that. And I'm gonna go mail that in the post office and let my camera charge. Hey guys, so I was thinking I could do a little drive with me segment. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like a long vlog. It's not just gonna be like moving in, but I'll put cards um, or timestamps, I think that they're called, on the bottom so that way you can like hop around if you don't wanna hear me chat. But I heard like a lot of people when they're watching a vlog like a sit down or like more chatty segment and then they also like to see, you know, after the chat, like, what else is happening. So, I just want to normalize my anxiety for the school year. I have gone back and forth all summer about what to do. I really don't know if I'm making the right decision. My situation is a little bit different than other people's, too, because I have my associate's degree that I got in high school. So, I really don't need to go this year. I could take this whole year off and then go back next year and be a junior. I would have less options though um, in terms of like probably couldn't change my major or whatnot. So like it is kind of good to go but and it's good, gonna be good to like see friends and stuff. I've been in such like a I don't want to say like depression because it's not like it was diagnosed or um, like I was okay. I don't want to use that term lightly but I was really in a funk um pretty much since March with like some days that were better but I'd say I just really wasn't feeling myself I just all my like hopes dreams like I don't know just the way I normally am it wasn't happening and I don't really know um why like I think it's just when so many things are getting canceled and everything's unpredictable it's really hard to get excited about anything or feel good about anything it's so easy to second guess yourself and so I was trying to not go to school but um, it just seemed like there was no backup plan um, no job if I stay home like really no social life so I'm gonna go while school's open I'm gonna try it and if it's a failure, which it very well could be, I'm going to take next semester off and look for a more solid backup situation, like maybe a gap year, like our gap semester program. I'd like to do some type of like creative writing type of program if I could find that, like maybe like in the woods like of New Hampshire or like something, like a little cabin with like 30 other students and it's like really low-key and like corona like safe I guess like a little bubble um my school is taking 
COVID really serious, so hopefully it's okay. I'll, I can tell you guys a little bit about, I don't know what to expect, which is um, something that it's like, I don't, I'm fine with going with the flow of like, I don't need to know all the plans, but I just don't like knowing, not knowing what I'm gonna expect from like a financial and like decision wise point of view. I'm just like, am I making the right decision? But from a point of view like, oh, what what is my day to day life gonna be like? I don't really worry about that. Um, it's not, I don't know. I'm definitely more last minute and like kind of fly messy in my pants, but so I'm kind of used to like not knowing what's gonna happen, but we get tested once a week. Um, so sophomores get tested every Tuesday and I have to get tested today when I move in. I got tested last week. Um, just, I was already at the doctor, so I was like, why not get a test now and make sure I don't, I'm not an asymptomatic um, positive individual. And I haven't got that test result back, so maybe that means I'm negative. Um, maybe they only call if it's positive, I don't know. But it also, I've heard, take, does take a while. So it's gonna be kind of crazy. Um, I also heard the freshmen are already there and this is like wasn't um, in an email or anything but I heard that there was some partying and people have already been asked to leave the university um, so I'm not sure if that's a rumor or if there's truth to that but I think people really need to take this serious in terms of not only their health and just being a good person but you don't want to get kicked out of the school or like be sent home I would much rather not party and have very low fun this semester and just kind of be you know with my close friends then you know have fun traditional college fun for two weeks and get sent home and be like a jerk I don't know I'm gonna really focus on my goals this semester uh, my YouTube channel and I, th I don't think it's gonna really be like the going out that I'm used to I think it's gonna be like maybe Saturday night hanging out with like the, your roommates and just kind of like doing a chill movie night like in your sweats and maybe having a few friends um come over but definitely groups under like 10 people I think is the restriction so I think you can definitely still hang out um it is college it's unrealistic to think that you're only gonna sit in your room but I think that you do kind of have to be responsible and you know gauge okay like maybe I'll hang out with a few friends instead of going to this off-campus party. So I'm not going to be the queen of um, social distancing and say everything I'm doing is, you know, perfect, but I am going to take it serious to the best of my ability. And so if you watch my vlogs and you're not agreeing with what I'm doing or anything, um, I'm not trying to, you know, say that my way of going about this is right. I'm really confused, honestly, about the expectations I have as a person and society and what is right and wrong right now because for so long over the summer I was hearing, if you're a bad person, I mean, if you're hanging out with people, you're a bad person, you need to take this serious, which I completely agree, but it was like so much pressure socially and now it's like we're going back to school. So I, ha I live with I'm one of um, six people in a suite, so I'll have five roommates, and that's that's a lot of people right there, so it's like if we have a few other friends, we're hitting the capacity of like that 10 person minimum, um, or maximum, so I don't know, it's going to be weird guys, but um, this is a seven minute chat, this is definitely going to be a, vlog, a long vlog, we're going to get my mom in the vlog hopefully she's not mad at me I'm, I'm sorry mom I procrastinated packing and we move in today and I still have to pack a little bit more so uh, I feel bad about that but honestly it's my own fault because I think I just know that I'm I can this sounds bad I can procrastinate and like figure it out and like usually it's a lot more stressful and I'm late but I always do figure it out so that has made me a really good procrastinator because there's really no motivation to do things in advance when I know it's going to be fine to not do it in advance I guess but I set four goals for myself for this semester which I can tell you guys about 
Um, the first one is to be proactive. So I want to try to do assignments a few days in advance and kind of spread them out and maybe get like all assignments or studying done at least one day in advance, um, which is very unlike me. Sometimes I do things the morning of or start things the morning of. So that's going to be tricky, but with more downtime and stuff, we also have Saturday classes with the pandemic. I think it is a good thing. Um, okay, I'm just crashing currently, so let me move over. Okay, cool. Um, okay, I'm not crashing anymore. Um, the other thing, I feel like I hear an ambulance, but I don't think it's behind me. Okay. Um, so that's my first goal. My second goal is to have a routine and kind of stick with it to the best of my ability. My third goal is to not emotionally eat, only eat if I am bored, I mean, if I'm <laughs> hungry. And those are my goals for now, so I'll talk to you guys later. I just went over the Boring Bridge. Sorry, I'm a horrible vlogger, I didn't show that. Let me show you a random sign on the highway. Yay, I'm a good vlogger. Um, but like, it's just now hitting me that I'm going back to school and I've been so wishy-washy pretty much like this whole time just because I'm trying to balance like what's good for my emotional health, what's good for my physical health, but I think I've made this decision and I just gotta go with it and I'm also just like scared to get heartbroken again, but um, I just gotta like take each day and be grateful for, you know, that day and make the most of it and I think if we do get sent home, I'm gonna apply to stay just because my home situation is a little bit tough to like do my classes online and even if it's a really low key and there's not a lot of people on the campus i'd rather be there you know and be kind of lonely there than be lonely at home so i'm starting to get excited and um i realize i haven't really talked too much about brian or like my major or anything but we'll get into that um this is definitely gonna be a long vlog so i hope you hope you like the chats Oh, these are also my new Ray-Bans because I had the Aviators before and I really like these because they don't have the part that gets stuck in your hair, like the nose piece. So, yeah. Hello. Um, unfortunately, I've locked my keys in my car. Um, I was going to get a little shake before we got on the road and I just am a mess. So, I'll show you a little... Um, clip of the car and then hopefully I'll show you the, a clip of someone helping me Because <laughs> all my stuff for school is in there, but it's okay. We're not gonna freak out I'm an idiot Okay, this is the one entrance on campus and I just got a little pulled over um, I'm gonna wait for my mom because um think that that's how we're supposed to do things and I have to pull up this like health checker app and put in my symptoms and make sure like I have a green check for the day or something this is kind of an interesting vlog I guess we're doing a little um, COVID test drive through I believe okay so I'm gonna get my ID one time I dropped this in the mud after going out and some nice kid DM me on Instagram. And he said he found it. So, thank you, Tim. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna see people I know. Like, I've just been seeing strangers for so long. Ah! I'm kind of scared to vlog on campus, but like, it's fine. Everyone, everyone's cool with the vlogs for the most part. Unless you're scared. Unless you're mean. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. What's the last four of your cell? You're gonna check your cell in a minute, but okay. in the meantime, you can have you blow your nose. Okay. Just what you wanted to do upon arrival. Take off the mask. Yes, but then we're gonna wash your hands and okay. it out kind of heavy, so you might want to stick it outside, but yeah. Okay. Where are you coming from? Massachusetts. Oh nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're gonna take this swab. Okay. 
You're gonna put it up one nostril, okay. a good amount, but don't hurt yourself. Okay. You're gonna go three times around really good. Yes, excellent. Then you're gonna keep it in there and pinch that nostril with it in it. Okay. And you're gonna twist three times. Then you're gonna hold it for a count of 10 seconds. Just count okay. 10 slow ones. Okay. Then you're going to take it out, do the same thing on the other side. You're going to spin it around three times real good. Then you're going to pinch and twist three times. And then hold and count for 10 seconds. Okay. Awesome. We're going to just gently stick it in there. And we're going to give you your ID back. Okay. You're good to go. Okay, Have thank you. Move-in. Thank you so much. All right. That was cool. Sorry. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. Have fun. Thank you so Not much. Not too much fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, okay. Cool, cool. Continue around the back of campus. Pick up your food supply. Stop it. I guess we're getting quarantined. All right, looks like we're facing another checkpoint up here. Cool, cool. Okay, that checkpoint, they gave me this. This is very different from last year moving in. So, yeah, sorry you guys are down by the steering wheel. I just don't want to be aggressive with the camera. Not quite ready for that. Colleen, answer. Your call has been forwarded to she just called me. Five. We're in the process of setting up the, the room. Mom, do you have any, any parting words? Uh, Sophomore I'm year. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we've arrived. I told my mom Monday I was going to come to school and she was like, okay. <laughs> yep, wasn't too thrilled about the last minute, but I'm happy to be here. I also started packing it last night and this morning, so that was a problem. That was a big fight. But, yeah. Okay. So, signing off the vlog from Colleen. Okay, I would say I am 90% done setting up, um... I'm just really tired, so the clothes situation isn't perfect, but that's okay because I'm going to go to Target once I get my negative test results that I don't have COVID because we're supposed to stay in the room until we get that. So yeah, and then I'll do like a little room tour, explain some of the stuff and maybe show some of my roommates rooms if they're into that idea. Okay, hi guys. So this is like the situation so far we're a little bit messy um but we have made a lot of progress and so my room or not my roommates um my youtube friends we just got off our weekly call i post them all if you guys want to check that out they told me i should do a moving in vlog separate from a dorm room tour so i'm gonna do a dorm room tour coming soon so make sure you're subscribed so you can see that and I don't know if I like talk too much about um college but um I don't know if you have questions you can leave them for me I'm like filming so many different videos that I'm like kind of confused like did I say my name but I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye